So first and foremost, I would like to express my gratitude to everyone who helped to make this possible and to give us opportunity to show our paper to all of you. So good morning everyone, I'm King Ramos from Far Eastern University of Alabang. And on behalf of my co-authors, Mr. Bumba, uh, Sir Bombasi and Mr. Basibas and Mr. Alejandro, uh, I would like to present our research paper entitled Post Estimation Detection and Analysis for work Workout Exercises Using Convolutional Neural Network. As we all know, exercise is a very important part of our lifestyle. It stimulates our muscle development, our joints and bones, lungs, and our hearts. Uh, it helps us prevent different health issues like obesity, high blood pressure, stroke, and heart disease. It also prevents us from um, mental health issues also, the anxiety and the depression. In the past decades, the striving innovation of, of technology correlates to health, that makes the lifestyle of the user with comfort and with ease. Some examples of these technologies are the smart health and watches, smart health watches and phones, the smartphones, brain sensing headbands, and body sensors. However, there are only limited studies about post estimation and that correlates with health. So this is the some examples of the, the research that post estimation and, and the health. So the researchers to arrive the concept of further utilization to investigate the human body post estimation through detecting a full body in performing squats, push-ups, and sit-ups to determine the angles and repetitions of the identified body lamas geometric features order to determine the intensity level as well as analyze the number of repetitions of an exercise. So I'm going to explain to you what is the brief summary of human pose estimation. Human pose estimation is a body is a computer vision task that includes detecting, associating, and tracking a human semantic key points. Se uh, the, the semantic key points refers to your body body joints. The for example, the, the shoulders, your left knee, your or your wrist, uh, etc. <coughs> so the objective of our research is to provide a way to help gym enthusiasts athletes and trainers to monitor the workout in the comfort of their homes and to utilize post estimation to in, in, in human exercise and to help more researchers in the future future so this is our conceptual framework that uses classification analysis and implementing convolutional neural network so the first step is to we collect data sets from our users we gather image from different 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 area of users like trainers, enthusiasts, enthusiasts, and gym trainers. After gathering some images, we convert the images from RGB to the grayscale, and we process the image to background subtraction to reduce the image to uh, to remove the image unwanted unwanted elements like removing the background like this to create more specific points. And after processing the image, we process the image to the classification algorithm, where we extract, extract the image and extract the image and getting the max pooling of the of the image. From a large large input of the image, we uh, really reduce we reduce the image into smaller kernels. The process of this extraction is called kernel. And the last last part is this is the max pooling. This is the smaller version of the image, so it it's, will be precise to be stripped down. Then it will be processed into the fully connected network where it will be classified whether the, the image is either sit-ups, squats, or push-ups. So after classify, classifying the image, we, we will get in the landmarks. We specified three points in the landmarks. So with the specific specific exercise, we only get three, three specific angle points. This is where the 2D post estimation occurs. 
So the, the, this code snippet is the important part of our our code, where we only require three three uh, uh, three points, semantic key points, to to detect the angle measurements and the uh, uh, and the intensity of an exercise. So this is the example of push-ups, sit-ups, and the squats. The, there is the red one is the thematic key points, and the this white line is called the angle angle measurements. Uh, that's the human detection will occur, detecting the landmarks that are being trained, and simultaneously showing the intensity and the repetition while the workout occurs, while while the user is doing their movement. Then, the system specification requirement. This is the minimum minimum requirements of our model. So, it should be uh, bearable with the Windows 10 and Python 3.8 3.8 version. That with the the Python 3.8 should have a media pipe and OpenCV plugins to be able to work. Because this is the two main add-ons to make the post estimation work. This is the, the OpenCV makes the uh, process the image. Then the media pipe is where the post estimation the landmarks occurs. Okay. Then next is the result. The result of our research uh, after deploying the prototype, we tested the prototype to users and experts. And based on the five criteria, it results to be satisfactory in all criteria. So, in the functionality, is the sample questions that is there? Does the software accurately detect the part of being trained? Uh, in the usability, is the software efficient to use? The reliability is the information displayed are accurate in the screen? And the purpose does it run smoothly on other devices or in other environment? And the supportability is, does the researcher said features work together with the app application, with the said model? So, the result of our, uh, the result of our study is mostly satisfact satisfactory with the trainers and the users that we, have, that we have asked and surveyed with the prototype. So, our, uh, our team conclude that this project will provide the fitness and health industry to broaden the application of 2D post estimation in a more efficient and innovative way implemented into a full body workout with a specific landmark in the study. The result of this experiment recorded the accuracy detection of 95% and the evaluation of the respondent mark a score of 4.2 satisfactory. This means that the application is recommended for implementation or adaptation. Thus, the study would like to recommend the following for the improvement. So we recommend that create platform across uh, create application across platform more, where more devices, more more box uh, like PS2, uh, PS5, or Xbox One, uh, like handheld devices. We try to aim for that and consider more physical activities, more exercise, we're specifically, we're aiming for more likely to calisthenics because uh, the problem with gym equipment is is too reliant on equipment, right? So we're trying to to limit our 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 field into the calisthenics area. So implement the, implement the application into actual setting and environment, more like the gym the gym and more appropriate places to exercise or more like in the home. Before before I end my presentation, I want to show our demonstration of our trained model. So this is the video that our group came up with. So as you can see, it simultaneously works with the, with the uh, this is the intensity and this is the repetition counts below. <laughs> uh, this this figure is a parody of our of our <laughs> of our model. So as you can see, it works. The the angle the the angle that both intensity creates is probably 80, 80, 80 degrees angle, which which proves that the more angle, more steep, 
the correct angles more 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 intense and that's where the repetition the repetition goes after achieving 80, 80 degrees after achieving the 80 degrees 80 degrees of the angle measurement that's that's the only time the model will count the repetition so thank you for listening and if you have any any question about our research paper, research paper i'm more happy to answer your questions now we're open for questions yes, do you have questions I know. What was the GPU used? Uh, the GPU is this more uh, the standard GPU po yan. Sa hindi naman po siya gaano ka ka demand sa mga sa system requirements po. Ang kailangan lang po talaga is the Python 3.8 and the video pack. Pila po? Regarding the number of uh, do you have other questions? Uh, is it limited to three key points? Uh, yes, because we're we're aiming for the for the specific body parts the, like this. Uh, only three is the maximum because when you're doing a push up, the only key, the only important semantic points is the waist, the elbow, and the shoulders. So we only limit the semantic key points into three. Okay. So another question. Um, was there any consideration on the distance of the phone, the lighting, uh, yes. and the other objects within the frame? Uh, as long as the as long as the inputted semantic key points are visible on the on the screen or the camera, it will be automatically detected. Naman po. Kasi our, the body the post estimation is supposedly the full body, so we only limit into three so that it will be more accurate. All right, we have other questions? If none, thank you very much. Sir, thank you for my